I did want to touch on the open source side and kind of the business end. Uh, you oh, mentioned cut some customers, you know, you raise mm -hmm. some money now. So this is like a serious business, but it also is an open source database. Can you talk about the, the give and take there, the push and pull, the decision making process, because we talked to a yes. lot of people in your circumstance and some of them have made other decisions. Some have made the exact same decision you've made and we're all trying to figure it out. How can we make this thing work? So uh, tell us your side of the open source slash VC story. Yeah. Thanks so much for asking that, Jared. That was my third feeling. <laughs> so my, my first feeling was- <laughs> I'm hitting thought, all your wow. feelings here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but really like July, 2020, as the project was started, there were, I remember clearly there, there were three moments. The first moment was like, wow, this prototype is fast. It's, a, it's like the design works and like, wow, like this maybe could change things for the open source switch. You know, right. I, that, that was it. And maybe it could change things beyond, but I didn't know. The second, the second moment I remember was the DST switching it on Kings of Leon crawl. Uh, mm -hmm. The third moment was this wondering of like, what, what actually happened was we designed it to be so much safer that yes, it gained adoption with, within the Gates foundation project. We won trust and they are integrating it today. You know, it'll, it'll power, um, countries at the national level. You know, who, mm -hmm. who knows in, in how many years, but as it gets deployed, um, so, so we did solve the trust problem of being so much safer because we designed it like that as well. But then the third, the third moment was people then within that project saying, this is all well, but you know, open source is, um, is too cheap. Um, mm -hmm. where's the, where's the company to support it? Where are the the, you know, the people that are going to be available to service and really work and you, you can't, you need open source. So this, this system is Apache to open source and all the software it uses, it, it cannot use software that isn't open source because otherwise, you know, it, it right. just would be a non-starter. So Tiger Beetle was also created like contracting then, like it had to be Apache 2.0. Like that, that was obvious to me, open source, because otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, you don't fulfill the, the, the mission, um, which is what inspired the performance and the safety is actually to right. make this really safe because it is people's money. So then the question was, you know, people were saying, where's the company to support this open source is too cheap. But I still, I didn't have a clear vision of like business model at that stage. Um, and then it became clear as startups said to me, open source is too expensive. <laughs> so on the mm -hmm. one hand, on the one too hand, cheap. you have countries saying it's too cheap. And then you have startups saying it's too expensive. And I'm like, this is Goldilocks. We're just trying to make some great open source porridge. And it's either, <laughs> you know, too cheap or too expensive. But nobody's right. saying it's free as in puppies. You know, it's too cheap. And then I realized, okay, that, that's it. You know, um, business model is orthogonal to open source. Um, business is about trust. People trust you, you know, at, at the national enterprise. And, and it's always about trust you. That is yeah. what you sell as a business is trust, your brand, your reputation. It's actually, I, I use the word, it's brand. And I think people, st startups talk a lot about go to market. I think it's more interesting to talk about brand. Do you understand, you, you know, do we, do we all appreciate the value of brand because brand mm. is trust. And, you know, I, I must thank my, my auditing professors. They used to ask us, what do accountants sell? Trust. That's the mm. only thing you sell is trust that the numbers are correct. Right. And yeah. So I, I, yeah. So business is about trust and it's also about value. And so startups, you know, they need someone, they want a push button experience who will run Tiger Beetle for me. Cause that's, that, that can make it cheaper for me than if I had an engineer do three months of work around the SRE, you know, of a database. Right. So you can actually have a business and sell something that's going to make something cheaper for startups. And similarly for enterprise, you can have a business and sell something that is going to provide the value they need, um, which is now they might have SRE teams, but they need the infrastructure, you know, to support massive scale, like petabyte. How do you connect Tiger Beetle to object storage S3? 
like OLTP data lake, not only OLAP data lake, but like, let's just connect the OLTP direct to S3. Mm -hmm. And so this comes to your question about, you know, the tug of war and licensing and all of this. And I think the big mistake that we, we can make, and I used to make this until it became clear for me that third moment was that an open source license affects the implementation, not the interface. But when it comes to competition in the business world, that doesn't happen at the implementation. Typically, it happens at the interface. So if you think of like some of the, you know, the fiercest competition, the most, um, you know, when things were really on a knife's edge for the web, it was the interface, not the browser implementations. It was the interface that the war was fought, you know. Mozilla mm -hmm. like fought that war and we needed other browsers to fight it because the interface was being embraced, extended and extinguished. Right. Triple E, you know, and then, then you think of like Android and Java. And again, um, it wasn't about the Android implementation it was the interface. And that was that Oracle Google lawsuit, you know? So, mm -hmm. and then again, you think of like, well, Confluent, you know, Kafka's Apache 2.0 open source then red panda came along and i'm i'm a huge fan of red panda because very similar design decisions you know around being direct with the hardware static right. communication all of this very very similar um, we came from a similar time period that in that time period you, the things were changing you know, how, how you build things but mm -hmm. red panda came along and they saw the open source implementation of kafka and they said well, thank you, but we don't want it. But that interface, that is great. That's, that's where our business will be also that interface. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And so they built a massive high performance implementation. And then Warpstream came along and they said, well, you know, um, Red Panda, you are business source license, not, not open source source available. Um, Apache, you know, um, uh, Confluent or Kafka, you are Apache 2 open source, but that's all implementation. I'm going to do my own implementation. Thank you very much of object storage and, but the mm -hmm. interface, great. Okay. Now we're all competing. And so I think the myth is that source available is kind of the thing that always, I always feel that, you know, something inside of me dies when I see a great company relicense mm -hmm. or where I see a young startup follow that lead. Because to me, source available says that we think it's going to stop competition. It, it doesn't, you know, it's, you may as well be on, on the beach building little moats and sandcastles, but mm. innovation technology is like a wave. It'll just right. find a way around you. You know, it'll warp stream around you. Um, <laughs> you. You can't, you can't legislate competition away and we shouldn't be trying to build companies where we think the success of the company is us creating a, mo a monopoly. The, the world's too big. You know, there's too much right. for you to be, you don't need monopolies to do really great. Um, and, and that doesn't build trust, you know, to say to your customers, you can only buy from me. So I think people think it stops competition and they think it helps them sell. And it actually defeats both of those because you get complacent and you actually fail to build trust. So you, you burn trust when you relicense. And if you start source available, you're going to be doing diligence with enterprise. And they're going to say, sorry, you're not open source. There's confusion, mm -hmm. license confusion, you know, it, and maybe some people get it, but there's little 1% headwind. And it's actually, you know, you're, you're, it's a category error because you're, you're spending so much effort chatting to people about implementation licensing and the rest of the world is competing on interface. And, you know, Tiger Beal's interface is quite simple, you mm -hmm. know, very simple. So we could, I don't know, whatever license we apply, it doesn't matter. It, debit credit is where we compete. Um, there are companies that offer debit credit as an API and it's very similar to Tiger Beal. Mm -hmm. Um, but we compete on trust. You know, we, we didn't just take a general purpose database and slap on debit credit. We went deep, you know, we, we really cared and we built the whole thing and people pay us. So we like, before we were a company, we had a energy company reach out and we, we landed a, you know, quite a good contract, um, very quickly. And, and I think it came down to trust. So open source builds trust. So open source is great for business. It's yeah. also orthogonal and yeah, I think, and I, th I think the other thing is like, if you, so the, there's a lot of things in Tiger Beetle that are like the, I had done many experiments of my own, you know, my, my passion projects 
they're all in Tiger Beetle. Many parts of the design of Tiger Beetle come from these various, you know, experiments that I did. And so I was never going to put that all into a project if it's not open source, because it's just mm -hmm. too valuable. You know, I, I want to always be able to play with it no matter what happens to it. And I think we all feel like that, like our critical infrastructure, it just has to be open source. And so, yeah, I think that's kind of how I think of it. No, I think that's a great perspective and a specific explanation that I haven't heard previously. So I definitely appreciate it. I'm, I'm mulling on it. I think I agree with most of what you said and the implementation versus interface dichotomy is one that I hadn't considered that explicitly and I need to think through it more. So I appreciate your thoughts on the matter. Question is what happens, you know, Apache 2.0, you get your heart and soul is into this thing. What do you do? How do you respond if, and when AWS comes by and says, tiger beetle, tiger beetle by AWS, you know, for sale now, like, does that scare you? Does that threaten you? Like, what do you think about that scenario? Cause that's what a lot yeah, of the, yeah, yeah people are concerned about most specifically. Yeah. So I think one can try and stop it. You know, you can build, you can build the, the castles in the sand mm -hmm. or you can just say, look, the wave is inevitable. Mm. It's coming. Like let's prepare for it. Yeah. Uh, and then, so what we do is we, we get the surfboard ready and we, we're <laughs> on the beach. The wave. We, we're waiting for it to come. Okay. And, and as actually we're already paddling out and there's the swell, the wave will take its time, you know, to catch up, but we're right. already surfing. And so there are, there are going to be, um, like we just get into the water and, and it's like, you know, we could have the cavalry in the castle or we could get them out into the field and have, have great cavalry and great user experience. Like let's compete on, let's actually add value and yeah. serve, serve the community honorably at a profit. Let, let AWS catch us in that, you know, and, and great. If, if they decide that they couldn't build a debit credit database as well as Tiger Beetle so that they offer it, you know, as their OLTP, like flagship database, Tiger Beetle, well, that builds trust and then rising tide lifts all boats. And we, we're still, now we're surfing You're the swimming. wave with You're AWS. Out there surfing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I think it's a great yeah. way to think about it because like you said, the wave is inevitable. So you might as well prepare for it. You might yeah. as well ride it, you know, ride that wave. And I, and I think also we've seen this play out a few times that source available doesn't stop AWS. So if it's valuable enough, they'll write the implementation. If you relicense, they will immediately fork your community. Now you've got two problems. They're still competing and now they lead the interface. And mm. that's, that's when it's fatal for a company. I, when, when I see them relicense and you see the classic AWS, uh, you know, I think OG, uh, you know, uh, they did yeah that that's actually the thing you don't want is when you know your open source clients are being bought up um and and being led now mm -hmm. yeah but i i love aws i love their work i've learned so much from their distributed systems i've got friends that work there so mm -hmm. really to me that isn't the threat the threat is you know what's the problem with the world I, I am, you know, we, we are as a team. So sure. the, the, the threat is really that we stop investing in performance and safety. We stop being trustworthy, you know, building trust. And so maybe we should say Jared too, is that your product is more than the open source. So like, there's a principle here too, is that I think it works both ways. If if we connect Tiger Beetle to a proprietary API, a proprietary interface, our principle as a company is that's viral. So if someone wants to license their interface as proprietary, our connector will be proprietary. And for example, S3, if we connect to S3 for massive scale, then we charge for that. You know, fairly we make a we make an honest profit. So serve the community honorably. Mm -hmm. At a profit, there must be a profit because there's entropy in the world. And sure. Yeah, but if something's open source, well, then we connect it. And there's there's lots of you know just just like people would pay Amazon for for Aurora because there's a great value in all the management around Postgres. Um, again, porridge is too hot or cold. So would be, would be curious to get your thoughts once you've thought about it and yeah, I can shop shop in the argument because. I, I really think we need more founders need to stand up and we've all been given a lot from the previous generation of open source. And I think it would be great if we all say, okay, 
we, we're going to pay it forward as well, like make a technical yeah. contribution. And there's no reason not to, you know, I, I think it, it it's better for business actually. Um, yeah. yeah. No, definitely uh, appreciate everything you said right there. And I will be listening to it back as we produce this and consuming it more. I love the surf the wave analogy. That's where you really sold me. So, so far I'm amenable. <laughs> I'm amenable to your okay. argument, but you know, okay. I'm very con easily convinced on the, on the air here. Is there anything